they can leave whenever they want. I can't. It is not a double standard because you emotionally have left and abandoned them in some ways, right? Well, <laughs> abandon police. Well, I, I take the word back because okay. I take offense to that word of abandonment. Emotional when Mary had an affair, she was leaving my ass because she was like, I'm done with this. I am done with you. I am done. She made it clear to everybody that she was getting out of after his first three wives left him, the sister wives patriarch is now left with just his fourth wife, Robin Brown. The polygamous marriage that Cody Brown had imagined has fallen apart, and Cody's aggressive personality was the reason why all of this occurred. Even his children dislike how their father treats them, in addition to the fact that his three spouses despise him. Cody said he worries about losing all of his money, though as a result of his three divorces, he remarked that the only thing he's currently afraid of is poverty. Rumor has it that his three ex-wives may attempt to recover part of the cash they spent on their failed plural marriages. It would be intriguing to discover more if that were the case, and even about the things he is apparently truly terrified of according to fans. So let us get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Topish. We have some exciting stories that are full of lip smacking delicacies, so make sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. With that being said, let's begin. In 2010, when the first season of Sister Wives aired on TLC, star Cody Brown pushed for the creation of a big family with numerous wives, which was unusual. He seemed to believe in a philosophy that made it impossible for everyone to be happy from a practical standpoint. Twelve years later, the Brown family still doesn't appear to be content, not even Cody. Even though he's left behind three failed marriages, Cody did acknowledge one concern that seems to drive him to carry on with the series. Sister Wives' ex-sister wives are trying to recoup money? Recent sources state that Christine Brown, Mary Brown, and Janelle Brown are examining their legal options. The ex-sister wives of Cody Brown have made the decision to assess the situation. They frequently take money back from the family that they appear to have invested significantly in over the years. Can they, however, hold on to it? Given that none of his three spouses were married to him in a formal sense, many are asking the same question. Hence, the sister wives are looking for legal counsel. Looking at their property for a moment, though, matters. In her opulent mansion, Robin Brown, where Cody is presently living with his fourth wife, they paid for the house nonetheless by pooling the family's earnings. Janelle made a mention regarding her money going towards Robin's home purchase during the sister wives' one-on-one -on -one segments. Cody and Robin continue to own their Coyote Pass land in addition to their mansion. Unfortunately, there is no information on Janelle and Mary's desire to construct their home there. Christine, in contrast, has already left for Utah and sold Cody her farm. Yet, the former sister wives made no mention of their present financial circumstances. But it seems unlikely that Cody still has complete financial power over the family, so it makes sense that the first three sister wives would keep the money they make from the show for themselves. If such were the case, Cody's financial resources would be considerably diminished. How? Let's examine this. Sister Wives Cody Brown's Concern to Lose Everything The three sister wives receive income from TLC that they've built up over the years in a single-family account. Hence, their joint account once received deposits from five separate employers totaling five salaries. In light of this, Cody's admission that his sole fear is poverty makes perfect sense in this situation, according to Soap Dirt. Cody would likely be left without all but three of the five wages that they had formerly used to support the family after the first three wives left him, though. Typically, you don't hurl derogatory statements in someone's direction if they're trying to leave without a fight. Cody Brown, however, retaliated by attacking the three women he'd been dating for years. The three-part one-on-one finale of this previous season was when he did it on live national television. According to a report, Janelle, Christine, and Mary have made a decision to assess the situation. They appear to have invested a sizable sum of money in the family throughout the years, but none of it will be returned to them. According to the most recent Sister Wives rumor, these women, none of whom were legally married to Cody Brown at the time of their separation, are now consulting with attorneys. Pooled funds were used to buy Robin Brown's home. Living in a mansion with his fourth wife is Cody Brown, however, they used money from the family's combined earning to pay for the house. During the Sister Wives' one-on-one -on -one episodes, Janelle made a comment about her money going toward Robin's home purchase. Cody and Robin are currently sitting on the Coyote Pass property. It's difficult to think that Mary or Janelle would still want to construct there. 
Christine has already relocated to Utah where she intends to remain. She isn't therefore building there. The ex-wives made no mention of their current financial situation. It's unlikely that Cody still controls all of their finances though. It makes sense for the first three sister wives brides to retain their own TLC show's incomes. If so, Cody's financial resources would be significantly reduced as a result. Sister Wives, is Cody's rage related to his financial situation? Cody claimed in the one-on-one -on -one that his only worry is poverty, so perhaps this is the root of his hostility. The spouses receive an income from TLC, which they've accumulated over time in a single family account. That meant that at one point, five different salaries were deposited into their joint account. But with the loss of Cody's three initial wives, he would likely be left without three of the five salaries that they had previously used to support the family. Hence, it's possible that the show's rage is one way his fear manifests itself. On the one-on-one -on -one segments, he comes off as incredibly irritated with the wives. This may help to explain why Cody's terror seemed to reach new heights now that his three ex-wives are apparently trying to reclaim some of the things their money bought over the years. If Mary, Janelle, and Christine pursue any money that is legally theirs, the majority of fans will support them. They did invest a significant amount of money in the family's real estate assets, such as Coyote Pass. It's unclear at this point whether the ex-wives will pursue compensation, which may turn into Cody Brown's worst nightmare. The fact that his three ex-wives appear to be attempting to regain some of their possessions their money acquired over the years may help to explain why Cody's anxiety seems to be reaching new heights. The majority of fans will be with Mary, Janelle, and Christine if they go after any money that is rightfully theirs. After all, they did make a large investment in the family's real estate holdings, such as Coyote Pass. Although it's not yet apparent if the ex-wives would seek compensation, this could end up being Cody Brown's worst nightmare. Cody Brown recently asserted that his only fear is poverty, but his supporters disagree. They think Cody's fears go much beyond just losing his coins. He and Robin have stolen from his wives throughout the years, notably Janelle taking their hard-earned money. But the patriarch of the Brown family has shown over the years that he isn't only concerned with financial loss. What else does he fear? Fans wonder what Cody does for a living despite the fact that he frequently talks about money. There's no official documentation of his employment location other than his TLC checks. There have been rumors that he makes a living by selling guns, but there's no evidence to support these accusations. He relies on the income his wives receive from their enterprises and jobs because he has no actual means of support. Given that his women are leaving one by one, he's therefore very terrified of falling into poverty. Without spouses, there would theoretically be no sister wife show to earn him his huge check leaving him with no money to swell his bank account and stroke his ego. Reddit users debated Cody's claim in his tell-all about poverty and even posted a list of the things he's truly terrified of. According to the OP, Cody fears all women besides Robin, his children's independence, hair loss, accountability for his words and deeds, parental and husbandly duties, other men, losing his hair, and accountability for his words and deeds. Any type of work outside of peeling wood? anyone who challenges his authority. He was definitely afraid of the state of Utah, another Redditor joked in reference to the state's anti-polygamy legislation. Once Sister Wives made its debut in 2010, the Utah police declared that they were looking into Cody and his wives for alleged bigamy and even a third-degree felony. The patriarch of the Brown family might have received a 20-year sentence in addition to five-year sentences for each of his wives. Does Cody Brown have a problem with his height? In the words of a third supporter, child support being away from his tender age children, going across the nation for a child's surgery are things that he's likewise afraid of. But another clarified the statement, saying that he just has an issue with the child he has with Christine, and it doesn't have a problem with Robin's young children. Some people have even said that he's terrified of his taller daughters. Remember they said that he's a short man who's standing on tiptoes because his daughter is taller than him. He has a problem with height. Well, only time will tell how he will overcome this poverty problem. That ends today's video. Please leave a comment below to let us know what you think will happen. Like and share this video to stay up to date on their progress, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Topish keeps you up to date on all the latest Hollywood celebrity news, drama, and gossip. Subscribe to our channel and check back for new videos and updates, and we'll see ya in the next video.